Good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is a video that's showcasing um, an industrial router uh, used for internet and other solutions, connectivity solutions. Um, this router, it's a 4G LTE router. Uh, it can take frequencies uh, in the band of 800, 900, 1800, 2600, all in the FDD. Uh, it has a capability of taking two SIM cards, as you can see, you have two SIM cards there. And um, one is on SIM 1, which is primary, and the second one is on SIM 2, which is backup. Uh, this router does have um, external antenna ports, uh, where you can attach external antennas if the signal is poor indoor. Uh, which is exactly what I've done in this uh, scenario. Uh, I have two SIM cards in this router. The primary one is on Intel and the um, backup is on Smile. So it actually has a failover capability so that uh, if there's failure on the primary uh, SIM card, uh, which is Intel, it defaults uh, to the secondary, which is uh, Smile. Uh, that way you can actually use that facility to actually uh, do a whole lot of things like provide um, continuous service or uh, maybe for enterprise use it has a whole lot of features features which I will actually put in the link below you can actually check it out um, right now it's a uh, it's used as an access router I have this connected to a switch uh, that's an 8 port switch, um, TP link switch, and this I have connected to other uh, access point. I have a ubiquity access point run in the house. Uh, uh, by, the, by the way, that's that's a Swift. Uh, that's my Swift router, so it's just there, acting as a redundant. So I have like three internet links now, right now, but that is not connected. Um, so what I have here is I have. Um, Sorry about that. Um, just want to show you the. Uh, that's the um, Ubiquiti AC Pro series, uh, which I have uh, for the house. I also have a uh, another M2 local station inside. Uh, so basically, I have two uh, access points in the house, and uh, the house is fully covered um, throughout this location. So um, with this in place, we can actually deploy this to remote locations where you have a poor signal. Uh, for what for for the for remote locations, what we can do, we can attach an external booster to the input port, input antenna port, and this gives us good signal. Uh, another good thing about this booster, uh, sorry, another good thing about this router is that if you log in via the G, uh, GUI you can actually see the signal strength of both um, incoming signals and this uh, this helps a lot you know it has input strength you can actually do bandwidth uh, you can do a whole lot of other features on this router it's uh, highly recommended you can use them in ATMs uh, remote sites where you need to monitor things and all that and wife to provide Wi-Fi solutions um, as a whole in short it's uh, it's a great piece of equipment and um, specification run times about 50,000 hours uh, before failure. I don't see that because I have a 3, 3G version. I've been using that for the last uh, three years, two years or thereabouts. Uh, it's practically the same thing, but the modulation is different. Uh, this is 4G. And then we also have a, a TDMA version. Uh, for the TDMA version, which means I can actually have um, the Swift uh, SIM card inside this device and it will work. And there is also another version that can take uh, a TDMA version, TDMA LTE and also uh, FDD LTE, uh, TDD LTE and FDD LTE, which makes it very great and very unique, which means you can have uh, two uh, ISPs together in one box 
and that is great if you can have a failover solution the failover is seamless uh, thank you i'll be doing other reviews on this uh, to actually show the throughput and to see what kind of uh, capabilities this um, device has thank you bye, -bye.